Hi again, it's Lock Noob, and last time um, I was doing a bit of a noob focus on cross locks. Uh, you can see this one's been picked in the vise. I'll just rotate it back. There we go. And just to run through again, remember it's a it's got four sets of pins in a cross shape, a cruciform shape. Um, they can have up to 16 pins. This one has 15, uh, 4, 4, 4 and 3. The keys have a, an orientation because they have uh, each side has different bittings. And once you get the right, so you won't go in on any side. It'll only go in um, where you align the thick part here. Just focus on that for you. There we go. The thick part. Um, with the thickest part of the key. So that aligns up nicely and you can turn the lock. Lovely jubbly. So last time I showed you how to SPP them. It takes a while, but just, it's relatively easy. There's also no security pins and you've got to be patient. Um, and I also showed you how to, to rate them again. Just got to be patient and go round and round. This one is a, a commercial one. It came with about seven keys. And you see that the keys actually have a notch in the top. Would you believe that the notch correlates to um, uh, where you've got to align the thicker part of the, the uh, keyway with the top of the lock. So you see that in here, there we go, that part of the keyway is the thickest, this part of the, the lock is the thickest, I'll put it that way around for you, you might be able to see, Let's focus that up for you, there we go, and that goes in, turns around, nice. Okay, but we do have some special tools that can get us into these a bit quicker. And I'm all about getting to these things quick. I, I only have these really for um, demonstration purposes, these, these cross locks. Let's have a go. And to get into them, we can use something like this. This is a cross lock pick. If you see, I just put this vice to one side so I can concentrate on that a bit more. You can see here, um, you've got some sprung steel blades. These are all um, small half diamonds, and they're at, there is a moderate um, spring tension there. And the reason that why is because what you're going to do is you're going to plunge this in, in and out of the lock um, slowly and surely. Well maintaining some uh, rotational tension on the lock core and if you're gentle and take um, a bit patient it should rotate it around. Bear in mind of course that um, these locks um, if you think about it logically when they've been picked as they rotate round to the next position these driver pins under spring tension will push back into the lock again so even with a special set of cross lock picks, you might find that you have to do um, a few plunges, a few rakes to get those cross locks open at a time. So how do you actually use one of these? Well, the parts are handle, which rotates and plunges. Then you've got a collar, which screws up to tighten. You've got the blades at the top under spring tension. And you've got these crenulations, these little teeth here, and those would, as you might imagine, line up with the inside of the lock. So, if I was going to show you that, let's put it at a bit of an angle so you might be able to see better. Uh, if I was going to, first of all, you pull these blades in like that, so they're all out of the way, um, and then you can align the teeth with the inside of the lock. So these teeth, very fragile. So first of all, you pull the plunger out, uh, not too far obviously, you can just see that the, the blades are all cut, um, cuddled up in there, pop this in and if you can see there's a bit of a gap there between um, the pick itself and the lock. When you apply tension here um, that may damage the pins under torque so what you do is you gently screw this down to it touches the lock and give it maybe an eighth of a turn more Okay, so that then protects those those teeth. 
Then what you do is you put a little bit of pressure downwards on the collar and then plunge into the lock gently. Um, you, because what you don't want to do is, is damage the, the, the lock or the, the, the blades. They are a little bit fragile, okay? If you're heavy handed, you'll end up having to buy a new set. Gently put some rotation on, I'm going clockwise, and then pull the plunger in and out while maintaining some, um, uh, and I've done it. So if I pull that out, can you see already that the lock itself has turned slightly? I'm going to try and extract the whole thing Gently. Don't want it to uh, break anything. Uh, don't know if I can actually extract that without getting it to the next next phase in its cycle. So I'll have to turn it all the way. Click. There we go. And then I should be able to uh, to remove it. There you go. So um, don't wait really to tell. Just to show that I picked it is that now the the large that part of the keyway here is now 90 degrees. I'll pick it backwards just to, show, just to get it back to the next point and show you. So again, technique is you pull back the plunger gently until the teeth um, or the blades go in. You pop this on until um, you can see a gap between the pick and the lock, screw it in. So it's not um, going to put any torque on those teeth. Gently plunge in by pushing forwards, gently, because I think this is a good point to try and... Um, um, if you can't do it like that, then uh, just go again. Um, so put them in and then try and just plunge in. It's hard sometimes to wiggle these... Um, these these blades into the lock itself but don't get frustrated and start um, uh, shoving them in willy-nilly because it will, it will damage those those fins drastically so again so I've got it in there now just tighten up to the lock extra quarter turn maybe eighth of a turn I'm going to put counter clockwise ro uh, rotation in there try and get that and just gently plunge back and forth until you feel the um, the lock move backwards. And there we go. So it's been picked. I'm going to turn it all the way around. You should hear a click. There we go. Pull and then I can extract it out and you can see that I've returned it back. So as long as I don't have security pins in, um, they're easy to get into using these quite fancy um, cross lip pick cross lock picks. They're also quite handy, uh, quite easy to get into um, with gentle raking and single pin picking. I hope that's been informative. I might give a review of the, the GoSo um, cross lock picks at another time. See you next time.